Hey everyone, DW Berman here with another little lightweight tutorial. This week I'm going over normal cast node from DP Kit. This will let us bake normals in Lightwave, which we should be able to do anyway, but for some reason it's not as easy as it should be. Anyway, here's my object. I have two layers. I have a high res layer and a square that represents the low res layer. The low res layer has a UV map on it, and uh, that's the important part. Okay, so I just have one on top of the other. First, let me go to my cameras. You can see my camera here. Um, go to properties, and I want to change this to a surface baking camera. And I want to pick the low res mesh and the UV map for the low res mesh. And uh, let me also change my viewport here. And change my top view to the side view. There we go. Now you can see this dotted line here. This represents how far off the, uh, the surface the offset from the surface uh, for the surface baking camera is. So if I raise this up, you'll see that that box is going up, and we want that box to include everything. And in this case, it'll be, you know, 180 millimeters. Now, if I come over here to my perspective or my top viewport here, and I change to camera view, and I change my view mode to VPR, you might see something like this. If you don't see something like that, you want to check draft mode off, because with draft mode on, it just looks like that. Uh, as you can see here, this is just a plain old render from top down, it looks like. Uh, that's not quite what's happening, but that's what it looks like. You can see I have a some geometry here and a bump map on the geometry just to give us some extra surface in interest. Extra surface interest. Um, because it's a UV map, I want to make this square. You don't have to, because it's just kind of mapping coordinates, but I'll make it square. So there we go. And with VPR on, you can see what happens when I lower the offset to distance so that it's too low. You can see that these uh, the little bolt heads here disappeared. And as I slide this down farther, more parts will disappear until, you know, really we're now just seeing the shadows and stuff from the upper layer onto the lower layer. So we want this to be at 180 millimeters for this object. OK, next thing I need to do is I need to tell Lightwave what stuff to show on these objects. So on the object, this is an important thing. On the object, on the high-res object, I want to go to the object properties. And under render, I want to set unseen by camera. And on the low-res object, I want to set Unseen by Rays. And I can also turn off the shadows as well. Not that it really matters. So now it looks like we don't see anything. Now here comes the magic part. And I say that sarcastically. Um, let's go to the low-res surface object. Click on Edit Nodes, the checkbox next to Edit Nodes, and uh, bring up my node editor. There, it's way off the screen. We really only need one node for this, and this is the normal cast mode from DP Kit. And let me just drag this window over here. DP Kit, you can see the address up here. I also have the address in the description. Uh, this is a free set of plugins, uh, but uh, there is a donate button. And I encourage you to donate if you find these incredibly useful uh, plugins incredibly useful. So. Uh, in this whole DP kit pack, there is a normal cast mode, and that's the one we're using. Uh, so let's take the output of this color shading. I'm going to plug it into diffuse shading. You could plug it into color and uh, set the diffuse to zero and the luminosity to 100. Um, but I'll just plug it into diffuse shading, and that'll take care of that. You will also want to turn down specularity and reflection on this model if you actually have specularity and reflection on that model. We double click this and that brings up its options. I want to set the UV map for the low res UV and hey, there's our normal map. Um, there are some options here. I'm not going to go into them. The projection distance, I think you're supposed to keep it at the same height or similar height to the, uh, the camera. And uh, I'm actually going to set the offset to half of that because that's the way their defaults are, it's half. So uh, you have options for inverting these different things. I'll leave that to your experimentation because I'm a little out of sorts on that stuff. But anyway, here's our uh, normal map. Let me hit F9. And look at that, there's our normal map. Uh, you'll pr 
probably need to save this as a uh, linear. Not which, yeah. Save RGB. Let's try this out. Save RGB, and I'll do a ping twenty-four, and then um, test. And hopefully this will work correctly. I haven't actually tried this out, but yeah, that looks like it should work. Let's go to my scene editor, and I'm just gonna hide completely the high-res object. Oh, high-res object. I'm gonna switch my camera to a different kind of camera. I could have just added a different camera, I suppose, but uh, do 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 perspective, and let's bring it up and over. So in there, there we have just our uh, plain old flat polygon. And let's turn the uh, the ob settings options for that back on. And now let's go to our surface editor for this again. F5 to bring up the surface editor. It disappeared on me somewhere. There we go. Uh, let's see now. I still want edit nodes on, but I can disconnect this one, and I'll just go to a regular 2D, add normal map, drop that into normal, load the image I just saved, and the mapping will be UV map, and low res UV, and there you have it. It might not be perfect. Let me turn bit mapping off. But we have some sense of dimension on this. So you might need to tweak this some more, I don't know. Depending on your situation, your I'm editing the wrong one, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So you might need to uh it looks a little flat still, but there's definitely detail there and you can see the light shining changing the light shading changing. And if I turn on um, some specularity, we'll probably see some spec hits as well. Yeah. So there you go. There's your normal map baked in light wave. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, there's some... Uh... Oh, let me see. Because I thought that was looking too dark. I want to change the color space on this to linear. There we go. That looks better. Ah, yeah. Change the color space to linear, and I noticed with some maps coming in from 3D coat, you want to change the MIP map to off. It might depend on the scale of the, the object, too. I'm not sure, but there we go. That looks more like we expect it to look. Mm, it would help if I was moving the correct object. There we go. So, uh, yeah, exporting normal maps from Lightwave using DP Kit's normal cast. Uh, as always, subscribe to this channel so you can see helpful new videos like this. Uh, I try to get one up every week. And also check out my videos at liberty3d.com where I have some videos for sale and other artists have some videos for sale and uh, tutorials. So, yeah, good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.